Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I am going to t take my client a little darker. She's been going really blonde for a long time and wants to try to be a little bit richer, especially with fall coming. But we are going to slowly get her there so it's not so shocking. I begin with parting the hair, starting in the back. I take chunks out, almost like a zigzag parting. My formula is shades, creams from Red Kim, 7GB, AN, 7WN, and a dash of 5WN just to richen that up a little bit. Starting at the root, I make sure to saturate the area really well. I drag it down, fanning it lightly as I get to the halfway mark. Where I want the dark to stop, I'm not bringing it through the ends. I do this all the way up the back of the head, leaving about inch and a half to two inches in between each section that I drop down. By the way, I'm using Fermar brushes. This is their smaller one. I believe they're about, a one, about one inch wide. They are amazing. They blend very, very well and are perfect to do this technique. Later on, I also bring in the blur brush by Red Kit to help smudge in another area in between the foils. You can see here in slow motion how I'm fanning the brush down, almost at an angle, not quite horizontally, but not vertically, and slightly pick it up as I fan it through. Now I'm doing my zigzag parting still and I'm just taking those chunks out because that's where I want it to lay. I like it to have a, more of a chunky look. Saturating it very, very well. You really need to saturate it well or else it'll be blotchy or spotty or whatnot. And then turn it to the side a little bit here and then bring it down further maybe on one side than the other or further down in the middle. Just don't make it completely even. The reason why I'm calling it quote unquote chunky is because I want to have a lot of depth in there. We're basically just putting her natural level in with some warm beigey shades, but I want it to be noticeable with a lot of dimension. If I were to just put some regular weave low lights, even medium low lights, it'll just make the overall hair look a little darker like a shade darker here. I want to still see her pops of blonde. That, so putting the dark next to those the, makes the blonde pop out really nice and creates a lot more dimension, which is what we're going for here.
And you can't tell as well here, but I'm doing like a baby weave around the face there, dropping it down, taking another more thicker weave right behind it. And then what I'm gonna do here is, you'll see, I'll bring it down further on the left, then I do the right, the right is around her face. So I'm obviously going to leave that brighter and bring the back down a little lower. And I make sure to fan it down ever so softly. I do the same thing above the ear. My mock baby highlight right above, drop it down, then take the section right above that and apply the dark. Here shows better the weave around the face, drop it out, clip it out of the way, take the piece behind it, add the dark. By putting the dark right behind the blonde that I keep around the face, it'll make it pop out more. So she can still feel brighter, blonder, while she's going darker so it's not so shocking. This is a great way to bring your clients darker if they're not sure or if they kind of want to try it out or don't know how dark they want to go. There's many different reasons you could use this technique. You didn't see it, but I did a baby weave around the face, dropped it out before I added the slow light here. I'm not going to bring it down quite as far as I have the other ones. The next one I'll bring down a little bit further, and then the same with the one after that. I bring down a little bit further than the one before it.
Now I go in with the same formula and the Red Kim Blair brush. I'm using it to just blend in the line from the old highlight, soften it up a little bit. I go between all the foils, all the way up the back of the head, on the top, on the side. Really make sure that the old highlights are melted into our brand new color. I'm using the Fermara brush here. I don't know why, I just felt like it worked better in this area of the head. Kind of change it up as I go through whatever works best at the time and depending on what I'm doing. I'm just barely touching it in the front part here. Don't bring it up too far. Just wanted to blend it in because I want to keep her quite a bit blonder there. She processed for 20 minutes at the shampoo bowl. I mix up Shades of Hue Gloss, 7NB, 9GB, and 9RB, equaled to an ounce with 1 8 Olaplex, and process for 10 minutes. And this is what we got. What's nice about adding the red and the gold to the toner now is that, one, it makes a very nice champagne color if you're trying to go for something like that. And two, it's adding those undertones to the hair already for when we go darker in the future. She loved it, I loved it. Look at the shine, the shine's amazing. Um, so it's not really making her brown yet, but a darker blonde. Thanks for watching, please stop by again, and hopefully I have more videos that you will enjoy.